So I'm going to go right ahead and jump on in this project. But look at those legs right there. Look how cute those legs are. You see that three of them, there's a piece missing because I'll show you later what I did with that. But anyway, I don't know about you guys' Home Depot, but my Home Depot, where the, uh, in the lumber section, um, they have this trash bin where they're going to, um, you know, pieces of wood that they cut that they just can't. There's no use for them, and they're going to toss them out. So each night they toss them out. So um, these two I found, and um, I found two pieces of wood in that bin, and they were um, free. So whatever's in that bin is free. You do not have to pay for it unless, you know, you get. There is a section where they have some cut wood that have price tags on it, but... In the trash bin, whatever in that trash is absolutely free. So I was able to make two stands because I cut the tops. I cut the uh, bottom portion of the legs off because they they were too tall for what I wanted. So the only thing I wound up paying for were the legs and they were $2.78 a piece, which I didn't think was too bad because I got two stands out of it. And the second stand is my favorite. You'll see it. I didn't show that process of me making it because it's the same process of the first one. So there I am just screwing that leg in and making sure it's tight. And I just went on in with the paint. I didn't, um, I don't know. I guess I probably could have taken the legs off and painted those separately and then added them. But I just went on in and I just painted it with the legs on there because I'm not going to want to take this loose. It is um, one of my favorite projects I've done thus far. Um, and I am so in love with how it turned out. It was inspired by Pinterest. And I have been wanting one of these um, pedestal stands for the longest. So um, when I saw those legs at Home Depot, um, I knew that I wanted to use those for my project. And the wood that was free it was like a win-win I mean there was nothing else I could do but anyway um I'm using the Waverly chalk paint the in white and um I um love um this paint because it dries super fast and the coverage is um it's, it's, it's the coverage is really really good and I think I put no I know I did I only used two I put two coats so after I let that one dry, um, I did another coat and it dried super fast. I didn't, I don't remember. I didn't time it next time I will, but, um, it didn't take any time to dry. And, um, that's the first coat you can see going on right now, but I know for a fact I did two coats. So I'm done. And that is the finish, um, pro, um, product of, um, the, uh, the first stand and the second stand, but you will see it in detail again you know, when we get towards the end of the video. But anyway, I'm just going to rough it up a little bit because I don't want it to be so white, which is, it's kind of stock white. I wanted it to look, um, you know, like it's old, like it's, you know, been around for a little while. Like it's a little beat, you know, beat up, like, you know, it's not perfect because, you know, that's the farmhouse style that, you know, everyone's, but anyway, I'm done. So those are the two um, stands that I got um, and all I paid for was the legs. I think it was like $11 total for the legs. And look at the bottom one. Look how cute. Okay, so now back to some other decorations that um, I picked up. I was out of town and I saw this delish Ray John Dunn jar. Okay. And I had already visioned in my head when I saw it what would really look cute in there. And it was bagels. I'm like, bagels will look so cute stacked up in there. I'm like, I think they could fit. I'm going to buy it. Even if they don't fit, I'm still going to keep this canister because I was so in love with it. I wanted to add it to my collection. So look at how cute those bagels look in that canister. So only five could fit. Six came in a pack. Those bagels were a little on the healthy side there were some big bagels those bagels came from Aldi so had to put one of them back in the plastic which see look they didn't last that long in my house I also added that treat cake stand that came from home goods down to one bagel gotta fill her up but anyway look at the stand 
look how it slide out. I had I can fit two sets of plates on there. I got to give me another set. I was thinking about putting a handle on the front, but I don't know. I like it as it is. It is so super cute. I am in love with this project and it was so simple to do. You can too, but can hey, can we talk about this boot? Look about look at this rain boot. It came from Target Dallas Spot. I was only able to find one, so I just grabbed it up. But anyway, um the next video that I got coming up, make sure you turn on your bell notification because you are going to not want to miss this. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. So I'm Shelly.